welcome back to my channel. My name is Sunflower Sims, and if you are new, welcome to my channel. So today we are building a family apartment here in San Myshuno. I believe this is 920 Medina Studios. So uh, this is an apartment for a young family. I imagined it to be one or two parents, probably two parents, and a baby. Uh, this floor plan came together easier than I anticipated it to. Uh, it's a little bit of a it's it's like two rectangles like slightly um off from each other um so i wasn't totally sure how it was going to work out but uh it came together pretty easy actually so here i am just working on the layout like i said uh i was gonna maybe open that up and add in a dining space there but i didn't think it looked quite right uh, so I just left it the way I found the way I found it, the way I initially put it. And then uh, I'm working on the kitchen. So I wanted this to be very bright, and uh, this was inspired by Miss Griffey, I believe, um, did an airy apartment recently. It was either Miss Griffey or Miss Simrino, I think. I don't remember. Ooh. Uh, anyway. So I was kind of going for that kind of vibe. I also use a lot of dream home decorator stuff because I was imagining that one of the parents, uh, in my mind, the mom, but you could make it a dad too, but I was imagining the mom was an interior designer and the dad was a photographer, uh, but again, switch up professions. Um, you can make two moms, two dads, mom and dad, single parent. Um, the baby's room, I intended to be gender neutral, uh, but you could, so that way you could use any gender in there. Uh, yes, so this kitchen is not too cluttered because as an interior designer, I imagine she likes to keep her house very clean and uh, just doesn't like too terribly much clutter. She likes clutter on certain places like bookshelves, but not in her kitchen. I go for like a yellow and blue kind of theme um, in, throughout the house, like a very light uh, blue and very light yellow pale colors. Uh, I think it turned out really pretty. I really enjoyed it. I use a lot of cool kitchen stuff in this kitchen. So if you don't have that, that might be a slight problem. Uh, and yeah, I use my favorite counters, which are from Parenthood. Uh, they are just, I love those counters. They're so pretty. And they have like traditional swatches and like some not so traditional fun swatches, like the blue one. And I just love this swatch with the traditional counters. Um, traditional like wood counters with white countertop I just think it's so nice and pretty and then the island is the most cluttered part of this kitchen to be honest uh, because of the sink and stuff there's um you know the dish rack and the soap and the paper towels and all that stuff I think I add in a trash can I hope I do uh oh I forgot to mention I also think that this family would have a cat so there is cat stuff Yes, I do remember to put in a trash can. Good for me, patting myself on the back. I, um, If you don't follow my channel very closely, you would know that I often forget trash cans. It's a problem. And then, anyway, I wanted to create this sectional. Uh, I was having some fun playing with it, and I think it turned out fun. Uh, I mean, it's nothing like crazy, but I think it, I think it works, and uh, it works in a small space. And it gives plenty of seating. And then I pick out this rug, and here's where I'm trying to pick a cat tower. Uh, I actually play around with the swatches. I almost always use the white or gray swatch on there, but I actually went with this brown one with, like, the little paw prints or flowers. I don't remember what they are, uh, and it's really blurry in my screen as I'm doing this voiceover. And then I was going to throw a plant in the corner, but I was like, nah, it doesn't look right. And then I go for these fun lights uh, because I decided there needed to be overhead lighting in the living room as well, and the walls heights are so high. They're the tallest wall height, so you could um, have a light hanging from the ceiling and it would have blocked the TV. So I think I got the smaller plant uh, for the corner and then I sized down this one for the coffee table because I love that plant, but it was just too big for the coffee table. And um, I put up some wall art. Now I struggled to come up with the right kind of wall art for this wall. I was gonna try and balance it out on either side, but it just didn't look right. And I couldn't put three and three on each side because of the cat tower. So I struggled a little bit, uh, but I eventually find something. I figured it looked cool with an accent wall. I tried to match the brick from the outside of the building as best as I could. And I think that having that accent wall really helped it. Um, really, help, really helped. 
and then um, I just found those other paintings and I think it turned out fine and I think it was balanced enough and then I put in this bookshelf shelving thing um, and I made it kind of a bookshelf by adding a lot of books books in there I imagine this family really likes plants uh, as there's a lot of plants on the shelf and then there's the one in the corner this isn't the house that has the most plants but it's got it's got some and then uh, by the time you're seeing this, the plant kit is out and hopefully it's good. I am pre-recording this like three weeks, four weeks in advance, something like that. I have been procrastinating doing schoolwork by building houses because I'm overwhelmed with school. So why would I, you know, tackle school head on when I could procrastinate and avoid my overwhelmingness, overwhelmed feelings by building? Um, don't recommend. I have a four to five page paper to write in the next six hours. So, yeah. Send help. Um, <laughs> not really. I'm fine. Um, and by the time you're seeing this, that paper is long done, hopefully. And if it's not, I'm in big trouble. Anyway, um, so the living room is done and the uh, kitchen is done. And now we're moving on to the entryway. I wanted to put in a the circle uh, mirror but it was just too small for the space and then I put in this one I feel like it but I didn't feel like it matched the vibes of the rest of the apartment so I just didn't use it I went with this one I think it's from spot a and then I put some magazines on the end table and then I put shoe or the entry joy table and then I put shoes um down on the lower shelf of it you can't snap anything to it but I made it work Oh, there's where I decided that the dad was going to be a photographer, so I add a bunch of photography stuff and photo frames. Uh, yeah. And then, um, I finished the entryway, and then we move on into the little hallway in just a moment. It took me a second to get all these shoes placed. Um, yeah. So, this build, I, I'm really happy with. It didn't take me that long. It took me, like, maybe, like, an hour 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 and a half at most it was pretty quick and easy to do as you can see it's a 13 minute video compared to like my 30 minute videos so it took me a significantly shorter amount of time and then here i am picking out a rug to go in front of the door going for a pale yellow and i added in some cat toys because i kind of forgot that the cat might want some toys like a dazzle wand and like squeakers and things like that uh that's kind of important uh for a cat i mean some cats don't like to play like my cat she doesn't really play with toys she likes to play with humans by um pretend attacking sometimes real attacking depends on the mood you never know what you're gonna get with her it's a fun surprise uh she's like a jack in a box jack in the box yeah real fun. Anyway, here I am making a little office space in the hallway. I give them a nice computer and I was going to put in this like animal light. I can't tell if it's supposed to be a cat or a dog. I think it's a cat, but I just didn't think it looked good. So I go with the one from Dream Home Decorator, put in some pens and pencils and then uh, some plants because they like plants and some more interior de decorator stuff. And then back here on these this other wall I just do like a bookshelf and ottoman so they have like a little reading space uh I th I really like the way that this little hall turned out I think it works out really well I think there's plenty of space for them to you know do their office work and then I was struggling to pick out something to go on the wall here but I finally end up settling for just those they're plain and simple and they worked and then I put in a nice rug and then we move on to the master I was going to try and make the other bedroom a little bit bigger because this room is huge but then I was going to get that weird one tile block and I guess in hindsight I could have just blocked the <laughs> corner out but why would I do that so here we are decorating the master bedroom and I do end up making it smaller by making a really cool closet thing, which you'll see in a minute. Uh, but for right now, I was just decorating the end tables, putting an alarm clock and some lamps. And then I pick out something for the wall there and then looking for curtains. Uh, it's always a struggle to find curtains for apartments, let me tell you. If you don't build, you don't know the struggle. If you build, you know the struggle. It's a struggle. And then rearranging where the bathroom door is going to go so I can create this closet. So I use these big old doors and then I put uh, some, I struggled to find the right windows that I wanted, um, but I ended up going with those. So 
it is a fancy closet that I built. I built like one of the modular closets from Dream Home Decorator. Uh, I add in lots of clothes and the dresser. And I think I put in some other things on the sides. Yes, I do. Uh, so I think it turned out really fun. Uh, I don't normally make like closet closets in The Sims, but uh, it was really neat, I think. And I really enjoyed it. So yeah. Um, oh, I see. Okay. Okay. Never mind. <laughs> um, I, I'm sorry. <laughs> this is so off topic. Um, I got, I thought that my email account got hacked, but really it was the school setting something up and they're like, here is the login. And I was like, oh, okay. So I don't need to um, be concerned anymore. Uh, anyway, back to the build. Sorry, that was very off topic. I just got the email and I was like, oh, another spam email. Cause it looked like someone was signing me up for things and with my email address and I was like please no and um turns out at least one of the things um the school did and it was not me so that is a relief uh anyway um picking out a rug for the master bedroom and then I put an ottoman at the end of the bed and a mirror goes in here right there and then at this point, I was like, what can I do with these rooms? Because they don't need two bathrooms for three people. And I was like, mm, well, there's no windows. So I'm going to have to do it. Um, yeah. So then anyway, I did the nursery. Uh, I went for a very green theme, as you'll see. This is the one room that has some color in it. Um, it maintains a beige, but I imagine they put like some... You'll see in a minute when I choose the wallpaper. I... Um, I was thinking that perhaps they chose um, to put like a border, a, a like um, a peel off wallpaper border kind of thing around the top. Um, you'll see that in a minute. First, I guess I decorated the whole room before I changed the wallpaper. I thought I changed it sooner, but guess not. So I just put lots of toys in here and um, I did some wall decorations but I try to keep it kind of minimal because I wanted the wallpaper to stand out which again I will choose in a moment trying trying to find a fun and cool light for this room and here we go so I imagine that they kept like that the apartment was painted brown and that like kind of like the rest of the house kind of a beige um although that's not really beige and then they just put like a um sticky wallpaper around the top here I am working on the main bathroom um, with a litter box for the kitty, and I think I forget a toddler potty, but you can probably fit one in. Once the child becomes a toddler, uh, I'm sure you'll, you can figure that out. It can go somewhere in the house, even if it's not the bathroom. It'd be kind of weird if it's not the bathroom, but whatever, it would work. And then here I am working on the master bathroom, and then that is about it. We're going to head into screenshots in just a moment. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe and leave a comment down below. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will talk to you all in my next video. Bye! Bye.